I'm going to be showing you how to convert a image scatter plot into tangible data. Now I have an image file right here. It actually has a transparent background so you're not going to be able to see it very well because those letters and numbers are actually the same color as the background so you really can't see it very well. But this is what it is. It's this image right here and you can see it's a GIF image and what we're going to do is we're are going to create tangible data out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line up my log here. I'm going to make sure that it matches everything correctly. So let's go ahead and bring this up here like that. Okay, now I'm going to stretch this to the right. And that should line up. Yep, lines up pretty good. I'm going to stretch this down. See if that lines up almost alright that's pretty pretty good so I'm going to go up here to my chart options and change this around this is not a vertical uh, a reverse vertical so I'm going to make that regular and these data points are probably going to be horizontal so I'm going to change that to horizontal and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to set my minimum and maximum value. So my minimum value for the x-axis is going to be 0. My maximum value will be 8. And then the minimum y value is going to be... That is... 125. And the maximum y value is 300. Alright, now that we have this in place, I'm going to go ahead and lock my image. That way it won't refresh. And I'm going to use my pen tool and we're just going to add pen. I'm also going to change this to a bubble chart. So I'm going to go ahead and add my points on there. So there's a point. There's a point. And as you can see, over on the right, we are gathering data points from this. And there we have a scatter plot digitized right here. And you can see the individual points. I'm going to go ahead and change the Y value name and the X value name. So the Y value name is... Oh, wow, this is a very morbid graph but okay heart disease deaths okay and the x value is wine consumption well wine consumed all right so Go ahead and update that, refresh the graph. You can see that up here that has changed. So now that we have this data ready, I'm going to go ahead and export it into Excel. All my presets are right there and export. And as you can see, we have all of our data points right there data points over here this is a picture so you can resize these as needed and the same with that right there so we have our original image right here that's our overlay and that is our graph there's our tangible data and this is our editable field section and that is how you convert a scatter plot using log evolve